Greetings from CI Live in Denver, Colorado. I'm Justin Wilson. Today we're going to talk a little bit about foundation water management. And I want to just bring up the first piece is that we're sitting surrounded by a whole bunch of Durkin Systems mock-ups and what a, what a group that we've worked with over the years to talk about water. They um, are, are really good at helping builders mitigate issues with water with a variety of different products. Today we're going to jump into one about below grade solutions. This product is, is Dorkin Systems Delta MS and a dimpled membrane or mat. I'm not sure if many of you builders have, have tried this, but to give you a little bit of the, the context of where we are with these types of damp proofing or waterproofing solutions, and again check with your building codes uh, as to how that applies, but damp and waterproofing solutions. And in the past what we've typically seen is a naked poured in place in most instances of the United States or North America, a poured in place concrete wall. And during that pre-backfill stage, uh, we'll talk a little bit about drain, et cetera. But the setup is typically a, a asphaltic or some other form of spray applied damp proofing compound on the wall. Well, then we backfill, et cetera. And, and in the end, that's always worked okay. But the thing that you have to remember is concrete cracks, that's the first element. And the second is that uh, when you saturate soils with water, you'll have a whole lot of hydrostatic pressure that develops, meaning the water that's locked in the soil and you have a basement on the other side. The water is the soil, the weight of the water and soil combined, you get pressure. And that pressure wants to exert itself against the foundation wall. Now that's fine until you have a hole or you have a crack or you have a light spot in your damp or waterproof coating on your building. And you're gonna see the ingress of water into that foundation component. And what we want is, especially with today's foundation systems, we sure don't want water in them. People are putting bedrooms in there. They're putting home theaters in there, workout rooms, home offices, etc. So we've changed really how we view a basement uh, rather than a cellar. Uh, when I grew up, it was typically just called a cellar and you didn't really put anything down there, um, but maybe some canned goods, etc. And now we're trying to make this thing a, a deeper basement. Uh, we're trying to insulate them, make them warm, make them comfortable, and make them usable additional spaces uh, for the building. So the, the first piece of one of these membranes and really how it works is you can see it's a, it's a laminated plastic material. It's a, typically a high density polyethylene and it, it's a dimpled mat. And those dimples go against the wall and then the airspace is on the back of this particular product. So it's almost like a rain screen on the back of your, or on your foundation wall on the exterior side. So we've got soil on this side. And you can imagine, number one, it's, it's very hard to get water to pass this particular surface here. And if it does, I have these drainage channels on the back. And these drainage channels will lead down uh, typically to a perimeter drain system and then evacuate it through either a sump or, or drain, drain tile away from the foundation components of the building. So a win-win when you start talking about it. So what's nice is this is a, a uniform product that's applied. Uh, so it has the same thickness all, of, all around it. And the key ingredient, again, is, I'm going to say is, is this air drainage space that's on the back of the product. So if water gets behind it, the water is actually going to drain down this product versus saturate soil or sand if you didn't have this type of product and just a damp proof coating and just fill up until the bottom of the wall basically fills up with, with water. So when we look at this particular example, here we go from a starter strip to the product that's applied to the wall. These are our specific uh, nail fastening attachment points, the orange clips, and it runs down to this perimeter drain pipe. I would, if I were making an alteration to this, I would use a uh, hard um, PVC or cellular uh, pipe and not one of these corrugated pipes as, as maybe a, an additional component. But those are your, your basic components, a membrane that can be installed to the wall, a termination strip that goes to the top of the wall, and then a fastening uh, cleat that goes on it. Um, pretty, pretty ingenious product. Uh, you talk about time to install, speed. Uh, this is one where you've, you've got speed on your side. It's lightweight. It cuts with a knife. We really enjoy trying to see these types of products integrated. And I'd, I would challenge you as builders to say, what's the next level for you for a damp or waterproofing solution or system? And I'd say, this one has a clear leg up on it. So give the Delta MS product a try. And we'd love to uh, uh, connect you with Dorkin Systems. Uh, you can also find content with this particular um, system on our CI mobile app. You can download that on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. 
Thanks for joining us on this short minute today, and we'll look forward to catching up to you on other segments.